Hello and welcome to today's English lesson. My name is Stuart. In today's lesson, we're looking at the difference between rob, steal, and burgle in English. Let's go to the intro. Now, today's lesson is looking at rob, steal, and burgle, and the difference between the three words now, these words are confusing for English learners because they have similar meanings, but we use them um, differently uh, a lot of the time. Now, the first word I'm going to look at is rob, the verb to rob. And rob is a regular verb, rob, robbed, robbed. And we rob places or people, okay? Places or people. The noun is robbery. And the person that robs is called a robber. So, example, he went to jail because he robbed five banks. He went to jail because he robbed five banks, okay? He was a bank robber. He robbed five banks. Second example, my friend was robbed at knife point last week. My friend was robbed at knife point last week. Now, at knife point means that somebody has a knife and they say, give me your money, and they rob somebody at knife point. Here, we're using the verb passively. Here, the verb is active. Here, it's passive. It's very common to use the verb to rob in a passive structure more so, more than active sometimes. So my friend was rob, or five banks were robbed. The next example, the shop was robbed of last night's takings. So the shop was open yesterday or last night. The takings are the money that the shop earns when it's open, the takings, the shop takings and the shop was robbed of its takings, okay? Again, in the passive structure, the shop was robbed. We don't need to say by whom here, okay? Because it's not important who did it. The fact is that it happened, and we don't need to put the by whom, okay? So the shop was robbed of last night's takings, obviously by a thief or a robber. The next example, the crash robbed him of any chance of winning the race. Now, this sense doesn't mean that you uh, take money or, uh, or another possession away from somebody. Here, we're talking more in the sense of deny, okay, deny. The crash denied him or robbed him of any chance of winning the race. So we can use it in that sense as well. We can talk about uh, if uh, money is robbed, or if uh, somebody's watch is robbed, for example, we can say that, and we can also use it in the sense that somebody was denied something, okay? So we can use it in this sense as well. Now, the second example is steal. Steal, steal is a verb as well, steal, and it's an irregular verb, so stole, stolen, steal, stole, stolen, and when we use steal, we concentrate on the thing that's been taken, okay? The thing that's been taken. The person that steals is a thief. So, he stole more than 50000 from five banks, $50,000. So, he stole more than $50,000 from five banks. So, we're focusing on the thing taken. Next one. My friend had his watch stolen at knife point. The watch, the thing stolen. Again, here, my friend had his watch stolen, passive. My friend had his watch stolen at knife point. Again, with the knife. Unlucky, my friend. Last night's takings have been stolen. Again, passive. We don't know by who or by whom. Uh, last night's takings have been stolen. And Jenny has stolen Pete's heart, okay? Pete has fallen in love with Jenny, his heart, 
has been stolen, metaphorically of course, she didn't rip uh, into his chest and steal his heart, so we're speaking metaphorically, uh, Jenny has stolen Pete's heart. In other words, Pete is in love with Jenny, okay? Very romantic lesson to date. Jenny has stolen Pete's heart. Now, the third example is burgle, verb, regular. Burgle, burgled, burgled. To steal from a building, okay? Or a, ha a house, offices, flats, okay? You steal from a building. Uh, we use rob for place or person, but burgle is specific to houses or property, okay? In the sense of uh, a building. And the person that burgles is a burglar, a burglar. Now, their home, ha sorry, their home was recently burgled, okay? Their home was recently burgled. Somebody broke into the home, stole money, stole a television, stole jewelry, stole everything. Their home was recently burgled. I heard a noise and thought we were being burgled, okay? You hear a noise in the middle of the night downstairs and you think that somebody is down there uh, burgling, okay? Somebody is burgling the house. So I heard a noise and thought we were being burgled. And the last example, he was accused of burgling more than 20 houses. He was accused of burgling more than 20 houses because he was a burglar, or at least he was accused of being a burglar, okay? So rob, steal, burgle, that's the difference uh, of how we use these three words in English. Now thank you very much for watching the lesson. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below. Share the video on social media, please. Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Pinterest. Share it up on social media. I'll see you in the next lesson. Have a good day, bye.